HP ready. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Guys, this is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan Black Batch. And that's HP. You know guys, I just noticed one thing. The Rolls-Royce Spirit of Ecstasy uh, isn't ac actually symmetrical. It's, uh, it's sort of like saying it one side a bit. And uh, the reason being is that it's to give the, the badge that bit more sense of uh, of you know liveliness of realism yeah so this is the uh, Rolls-Royce Cullinan black batch uh, we've been invited for an, a preview here in Rolls-Royce Kuala Lumpur uh, they've also have the they also have the the, uh, the silver batch version here side by side for us to compare and uh, just to quickly run through now black batch what is black batch black batch in in the Rolls Royce world right now, it is to denote um, a more dynamic interpretation of uh, of the Rolls Royce brand essence. See, the thing is that okay, now a bit further from everybody, right? I'm going to take out my mask. Now, see, the thing is that right um, at present day, Rolls Royce customers are uh, they are getting increasingly younger, so they want something a bit more dynamic they want something a bit more adventurous they want something a bit more for the lack of a better word sporty but i wouldn't use sporty in the context of a rolls royce so a bit more dynamic that's the word i would use and black badge is the answer to that basically people want a rolls royce that's not too uncle huh? so what do we have here what what differentiates a black badge rolls royce from what they call a silver badge rolls royce uh, it starts with the trim okay the exterior trim you can see that uh you see like here over here this silver badge car right that that lower door trim there is chrome this is black okay the door surround the, the the window surrounds uh it's um, it's black spirit of ecstasy okay the uh the, the, the grill also it's all darkened and what's more you look at this here the Rolls Royce batch here in the silver batch car okay this is this is black on silver over here it's it's silver on black so yeah so that 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 communicates the ad added um, dynamism and aggression of these cars of these black batch cars and so all the, the, these so even though right like even if you you take a, a silver batch rolls royce you can pretty much customize the car any way you want but these little cosmetic touches they are exclusive to the black batch cars they are only available if you spec uh if you order a black batch car uh this this you see like even the rims uh of this cullinan black batch is more aggressive than the, the the other design the silver batch design you also get to see uh, red painted brake calipers that you don't get in the silver batch cars but most importantly there is a technical uh, mechanical differentiation between uh, the black batch and the silver batch car and it is in terms of output the, the black batch cars are more powerful okay they make more power the silver batch cullinan makes 563 horsepower from its 6.6 .6 liter v12 this bad boy here makes 
593. So it's an additional 20%, an additional 30 horsepower that you cannot spec. The Rolls Royce will not allow you to spec that into the silver badge car. Okay, so um, yeah, so about the Cullinan black badge in person. Okay, now I've not seen this car in person too often, but uh, I have to say in person, this car looks really, really, um, really imposing. And this gunmetal gray finish outside, it just, um, it, this, 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 this overall look, it just screams mafia boss to me. And if I would see, if, I, if anybody comes out of this car, um, let's put it this way, I wouldn't mess with that person. Okay, this 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 car looks like, you uh, know, it's it the, the the appearance the 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 aura of this car. It's uh, it communicates that you know this is somebody with power, and this is somebody who has a lot of um, a lot of inner strength in that person, right? Um, that it's it's a it's a it, it this gives the this car looks like it belongs to somebody of imposing authority so i just want to point one one interesting thing here this is what they call the coach line okay and this is not a sticker this is a hand painted line okay that only one person in the whole world is able to do it. That person's name is Mark Court. Okay, and this line is hand painted by Mr. Court. Okay, left side and right side. I'll just show you on this side as well. So you see this whole line hand painted, and you would really struggle to see or to find any imperfections of it. And even if you do. You wouldn't mind because you know that this is a hand painted line and let me ask you this how many people can hand paint a line like this with this kind of straightness and uniformity okay it's it this is really an imposing car uh but uh but really what's really worth admiring about this car is in the inside and i'm going to start from the back I'm gonna start from the back. So uh, you can, so the boot of course naturally is power opening. What's this thing doing here? This is not a prop, this is not a launch prop. This comes with the car and I'll explain later. So open this. All right. Uh, so one press of that opens the, the upper hatch. This one here pops the lower one down now you can see this this what is this contraption here um wait before that let me show you you can fold the seats down okay one press the seats go down one touch down okay um so what's this thing here this is an accessory and what what you do is See, there are two buttons, one on this side, one on that side. They are the same. You can use either or. Just press this. You have to hold this, okay? You have to hold the button down for reasons of safety. And voila. So here we have what they call the viewing suite. All right. Uh, at, at, at the press of this button, this whole assembly comes out. So you can open this, raise this chair up. Okay, pull this. So after you've deployed the chair and the table, this platform here is for you to step on and sit here and, uh, and enjoy a cup of tea, coffee, water, whatever. Very nice touch. And of course, this is uh, an optional accessory which you can spec into your car. Thank you, Iwa. Thank you. Um, so when you spec this, uh, this viewing suite, this platform here comes together with it okay this is very heavy so bring your chauffeur along to to carry that okay when you when you are done so 
so when you're done put this back put this back put this back then you hold this button to close it you have to press and hold that button for reasons of safety and it stows away nicely uh, this this platform here comes with a cover all right so after when you are done the, the, you can you can you can uh, you can cover this and put it back into your car it's a very bulky piece so if you put this in there it will probably impact your luggage space a little so if you just raise the seats and uh, you close the boot you have to you have to uh, hold the button for reasons of safety okay once it shuts you can release now before I, I jump into here okay uh, before I jump into here I want to show you something on this car first now you notice that um, it's not a perfectly flat boot floor as I always like to comment when the seats are folded down the reason being is that um, Rolls-Royce decided to give priority to the comfort of the passengers seated at the rear seat so the, the what they have to do is they have to ensure that the seat has a certain minimum height ab above the floor and but as a result in order to maximize boot capacity the floor of the boot has to come down a little okay and their compromise to ensure a seamless boot floor is that 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 uh, there's a slope up there so this one doesn't come with the viewing suite now Here's this, check this out, right? So you see this button, I press this button. All right, that drops down to give you a perfectly flat uh, boot floor, all right, when you're not needing the seats up. Okay, so that's neat. Now, let me just come back to the uh, interior of the black badge. So the rear doors open are rear hinged and uh, one thing that is really good about this is that it makes entering entering the car very very easy so it's as easy as we you see this even the carpet is so um, it's so plush it's like I feel malu to step on it with my shoes you know so I'm gonna take out my shoes all right Okay, so the what I like about these these real uh, uh, what you call it, real hinge doors is that getting in and out is is very easy. Okay, uh, it's so convenient, and uh, of course, because the doors open that way, closing it manually will take effort. So you don't close it manually; you close it at the press of a button. Okay, there you go. Right. So inside here, just now I can hear Bobby talking over there, but right now it's absolute pin drop silence in here. Okay, um, this I'm honestly the, the atmosphere inside here. It's it's. I think I need to open the doors a bit. Okay, the the atmosphere, the 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 ambience inside this cabin is absolutely um, absolutely wonderful. Even uh, without moving the sense of occasion that that you know that the construction of this cabin engenders is is really really something to behold uh, this is a car that you can really enjoy without e even moving so uh, this car comes specced with what with this with the with the starry uh, night with the night sky uh, roof liner so each of these each of these uh, lights are individual fiber optic lighting elements okay and they vary in intensity so the intensity is not uniform and so as a result it, if you if you uh, you know tra if you are traveling at night it really gives you the impression you know of a legit night sky uh, and of course if you start the engine uh, you can you can they can even show you like you know a shooting star uh, display very very spectacular okay um, yeah so my god you see the the even the, the the carpet this is this is nice man this is this is really is this feels like you know those carpets in uh in a, 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 those nice luxury home carpets very beautiful um so yes you see all 
none there you will there is not a single inch of cheap material anywhere in this cabin every part right that is within within uh within your arms reach and even beyond is made of of absolutely splendid uh selection of materials and so there's a, another button here for you to adjust the headrest all right okay um yeah so you can see here so this is a uh, what you call it black black batch special carbon fiber trim okay uh trim inserts and this leather here my god it's it, it's really really lovely to touch man absolutely lovely to touch and here as i open this wait sorry <coughs> i'm gonna come here and show you at the door you can see check this out you can this is where you adjust this the seat recline this one i folded the the other seat down so i pull this button my god there is actually enough room here for me to squat without feeling uncomfortable all right uh this is of course to i think uh to fold the 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 seat this side down okay there's a usb-c socket uh port here and this 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 door pocket of course inside here even this part where you can't see is uh is finished in a in a in a fabric and it goes back so there's a hidden space in here all right so i'll open that okay and uh yeah so you've got acorn wens here you've got a coat hook here and you can press this button lower the tray and activate the uh the rear infotainment system give it a bit of time to start up doot, doot. so while this thing boots up i'm going to show you the center console here now you can also option your cullinan to be a four seater whereby this whole center console will stretch back and include a fridge as well so you see here the even the this this um aircon when right it feels heavy you know you when you move it right you can feel the weight of you see when you cut this This, the sound of solid metal in there okay this is the fan speed control here temperature uh, temperature control the tactile feel is just absolutely marvelous and uh, this is a touchscreen interface All right uh, I'm sure the uh, the menu structure is very familiar to many of us it's of course uh, a reskinned version of, uh, of BMW's iDrive system Okay, so no doubts of its uh, of its usability, and but of course the the, the fonts, you know, the, the the whole the whole UI is a, is given a distinctive Rolls Royce look. But uh, you 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 look at the uh, the menu structure, the, the 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 what you call it the 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 interface structure, right? How how all the the um, how the uh, what you call it you know the menus and the sub menus are layered it's very familiar if you've come from a bmw here's the rolls royce umbrella press this button to eject the umbrella pop comes up so uh my god man this even the umbrella itself reeks of extremely high quality okay uh nice beautiful handle so the umbrella um let me just show the other umbrella in the umbrella inside the other car over there. So like you see here, this car, this silver batch car here, you look at the trim color, right? The umbrella here. But the color of the umbrella matches that of the trim color. Lovely, right? Alright. So yep, done with that. Close the door.
Okay. I'm just going to close that one as well. And I'm going to open this for reasons I will explain later. Now, uh, let me step into the driver's seat. One more thing I want to show you. Uh, another exclusive black badge touch is that infinity pattern on the armrest, on the clock here. Okay, so that's, uh, that's, that's something that you don't get in the silver badge cars. Okay, so uh, you look at this. You know, I, I really just can't bring myself to even wear my shoes going into the car. Such is the exquisite nature uh, of the carpeting. Okay, um, the pedals themselves are also, you know, finished in very nice, there's a nice feel towards the pedal. It looks like a very, it has a very expensive and also a very, yeah, at the same time, very technical kind of appearance. So um, the dashboard, it's not a fancy dashboard, okay? It's not a technology-laden dashboard, but every inch, every millimeter of this dashboard just reeks of sumptuous quality. I mean, look at the top piece. This is fully leather with real stitching here, okay? And the reason why I opened that door is because I want to show you this button closes the passenger door so it's like right um, assuming you drive your Cullinan yourself uh, if you are taking a lady out you can open the door for her okay as she takes the time to get into the car you can come to the driver's side and close the door for her without without her having to do so herself uh, really lovely and um, I like this this it, look this this pattern here uh, it looks like you know those those uh, those sort of like handbag leather kind of uh, texture. Okay, uh, it's it's a, it's a sort of soft touch. Okay, it's it's replicated across here as well. Very nice, very unique, very distinctive. All right, I'm not sure what this button does. I'm not sure what this. Okay, so this this is. Uh, this is a volume control. Now, compared to the other other dials, I have to point out that this the the, the quality of this particular the tactile quality of this particular dial, I would expect a heftier, more substantial feel tactile feel coming from uh, uh you know that would better match the standards that are set by other parts of the cabin. Okay, like you see this this infotainment control knob. This is uh. Maybe perhaps they are limited by the fact that they had they sourced this from this is basically a you know a redress of the BMW i drive knob, um, but of course it's it's a, it has a nicer design right with uh, the chrome chrome surround and the spirit of ecstasy, ecstasy on top of it printed on it. Okay, but this 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 rotary knob and this rotary knob. These two rotary knobs, the um, the tactile feel isn't as satisfying as say the the climate control or you know or like this this went opening and closing uh, you know button or knob here. Okay, see the rest of the, the other controls beautifully weighted, and I particularly like these memory buttons here. Okay, as you press them, even when you press them downward this way, you can feel the heft. And the weight of these buttons, beautiful, nice. It's a, it's a sense of occasion just pressing these buttons on, uh, on themselves. So uh, you can see here, this is the this is the control of the dynamic cruise of the uh, dynamic cruise control system, voice control activation, okay, cruise control. Um, yeah, and check out this lid. When you pull this open, when you push this open, the this lid also feels heavy and substantial this one as well open this up okay this lid is is good okay so you have this lid has like one two two stage opening uh, but somehow I think this hinge 
doesn't feel as solid as the one in Bobby's Repeat, but still pretty solid for the type of construct design that it's in. There's a bit more free play here. The one in Bobby's Repeat uh, is absolutely rock hard one. When you raise it right, you can feel the whole weight of the mechanism. This one, uh, there is a bit more lightness to it. Okay, so this is the center console box. There's a... Uh, this is the cover for the 12-volt socket. USB-C ports here, not USB ports, USB-C ports here. Right. Uh, the instrument cluster, very simple design, uh, but it's a fully digital instrument cluster uh, that carries an analog appearance. So, uh, of course, with Rolls-Royce, there is still a bit more conservativeness to the design. So, uh, even though it's a fully digital screen, a digital cluster, uh, it's a very simple design. There's the there's the trademark power reserve meter there, uh, speedometer, fuel gauge, temperature gauge there. Okay, but really, what is nice to 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 explore here in this in this car is just you know explore every control, feel how all the buttons uh, react to you know to your to your operation. Here's the gear lever and wow, look at this. Even this part of the gear lever is like milled uh, metal. It's solid, man. It feels solid. So it's uh, electronic shifter, press button to engage park, reverse, neutral, uh, move, uh, move, push up to reverse, push down for drive. There's also a button here for you to select uh, low ratios. Of course, this uh, the Cullinan here is equipped with the ZF 8-speed automatic transmission, excellent transmission, very, very, um, very versatile, They're suitable for all, almost any usage that you can think of, whether it's uh, mid-range, premium, high performance, or even in this case, uh, luxury. Oh, and look at this. You see, even in corners like this, where you rarely cast your eye, they, cover, they put this fabric surrounds here to cover it, and it's a nice, high quality fabric really really lovely okay so let me just close the door because i can i can close the door from here this button or um i can i can close this right okay guys so this is it. This is the uh, Rolls Royce Black Batch uh, Cullinan, and uh, this is this is my walk around. I've concluded my walk around of the car. Now I'm handing the key over to uh, to my colleagues. Bang! You'll never go in it. This is a car that will make you feel poor. <laughs> that that this thing ah uh, okay this thing right. You, you don't even need to close the door yourself, you know. You, how, how, then how you close the door? Tekan button only. Just tekan button only. Yes. So now, 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 you do you... Or not? Do you... Of course. So do you feel poor every time you close your own door? <laughs> I have to try it later. Do you feel like you need to work hard and earn more money? Definitely. For Definitely. yourself, right? To earn a better life for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Appa coin yeah. giving life advice. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, if you need to... If you want to earn a bit more money, right, there's a... Uh, go try the Pro Nano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, add playing here, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, are we ready to give our colleagues out there carbon monoxide poisoning? Yeah, man. Let's okay, do it. okay, let's do this because I'm I'm going to let let Bobby breathe carbon monoxide so that Bing and I can catch a shooting star. <sighs> So how do we how do we you know find the shooting star? I oh I saw it. it! I saw it! <laughs> it, it appears at random one. Ah. Yes, random. Oh. Hey? Oh sorry, I just offed it. it off okay. There. All right. So activate. Oh, yeah. So guys, you just have to see it for yourself. Hey, okay, where's the shooting star? Okay, there. Yes. So at random, the shoot, uh, you know, shooting stars will appear on on this. Yeah, I hope you caught that just now. So, Bing, have you made your wish? Oh, uh, no, still mesmerized by the shooting star. HP, have you have you made your <laughs> wish for your ISF already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I found my horoscope here. 
Oh, okay, 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 okay. Good, 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 good. 